Hey everybody, welcome back to Art of War EU4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quill, Arumba, and Mathis. Say hello. 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 Hey there. Let's let's begin. Shall Continue. Okay. All right. Arumba. What's up? I'm about to declare war on the Mamluks, so if you really? don't want, if you don't want hey. to defend them. Hey, that's collusion. I'm to saying, warn him of that so he cannot lose the prestige is collusion, Mathis. That's oh, not sorry. fair. Sorry, you're right. I am not about to do such things. That's true. Ha I mean, having him break the alliance preemptively is not good, so you shouldn't do that. But having him, you know, making him aware that this call to arms that's about to come through is a little bit more significant. That's fair. It's collusion is what it is. <laughs> it's collusion. You're right. So you don't have any allies, huh? Who? You. Mathis. No, I have vassals. Instead. Muggles. 85,000 troops. Tech oh, 15. You are just as high tech as Spain is. You know, I should I should try that thing where I just like reload random countries until I'm stronger <laughs> than everyone else. It's working really well. Yeah, it's not bad. You just have to fail three times, though. You like you actually have to fail first. Oh God! Oh no! What the hell? <laughs> our our colony Songlo declared war on Castilian Brazil. <laughs> mm -hmm. They cite okay. reconquest. <laughs> That's good for their health. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> this can only go one way, and it it's not going to be good. <laughs> Yeah. Agreed. You notice that there's like an automatic template name generator? That would just like name the templates based on how many troops you're building? Like effing huge <laughs> regiment? Yeah, or like, you know, like 10 slash 2 slash 10 or something. Mm, yeah. That's what I meant. But your idea is good too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where the hell do these guys come from? Why are those guys just standing around? Mamluks, Mamluks. Ra, ra, ra. Mamluks. They have 10,000 men at their disposal. For anyone watching my episodes and wondering why I'm not piecing out hedges it's because i have a mission to get 100 percent religious unity which i will get if i don't take all of their sunni provinces right now ah uh, i see i have to, it's running too i have to wait one in-game month i'm sorry my timing was was grossly incorrect Oh, the Ottomans are at war, are at war with Russia right now. Interesting. Wow. This might be a good time. As soon as this war is over, it might be a good time to strike them. To strike at Russia? Ottomans. <laughs> I'm not going up to Russia. Fuck that. How the hell did they get a 24 stack? That might be a good time for you to... Uh, this is colluding, but if I attack the Ottomans while they're at war with Russia, you can attack the, at Russia while I fight the Ottomans. You talking to me? I have no, no plans to attack Russia. Oh, okay. I'm a peaceful nation. <laughs> what do I have to do to get this through your head? That's true. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you, what the hell are you going? Where are you going there? Interesting. Mm. They tell hey. us tea and sugar. Something, something China. God damn it. China is mine. Don't they know that? Sure. Yeah, that's a lot of unrest. Well, you took a big fucking chunk, huh? Just because hedges is... Their provinces are large. My vassal is suicidal. They they <laughs> just... They have a death wish. Death, death wish. They, they, okay. <laughs> Castilian Brazil is tech 16. The, the colony has better technology than the freaking overlord. My vassal is on tech 12. And they're like, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> just attack them. Forward! 
pikemen. <laughs> oh god, it's another rebellion. So I'm gonna have a problem here though, because now the only way to expand is to attack the Ottomans or gonna go through Ryan. That seems fine. Go ahead and do it. That, that's not true. I don't see a problem. You uh, you take Shamar. I'm gonna take Shamar. It's part. It's part of this war. Yeah, and then you take the little that's left of Hedges, and then you just assault them via sea and get military access through the Ottomans. Ah, okay, gotcha. Because the only way that you like, if you're trying to get a contiguous border. It's going to take you longer than the series is going to last because you're going to have to get across this strait and then take like these other three coastal provinces to get to the Mamluks. Does that or I could just like go through you. Yeah, yeah. But you, in order to get that land, you're going to need to get me to 100 percent or get me to accept a deal. And I'm not taking a deal. <laughs> I'm not taking a deal that forces me to lose this straight crossing and separates my country in half. <laughs> so... I'll, I'll leave that up to you. What if I don't separate your country in half? I just take half your country. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> just, you know what? Do it. I have no issue. I don't. I have other plans right now. You're not part of the plans. Oh. I'm very glad to hear that, to be honest with you. We like each other, apparently. Where the hell is this army going? All right, whatever. How long before... Okay, while. <sighs> I wonder if I can... Mm. Do these tricks... I might be able to... I wonder if I can one-shot eat Ming and then release them. Again. Oh, they... Um, that was one of the changes in the patch. They, they lowered the effect of high autonomy on war score cost. So, uh -huh. I think I think that was in response to you know some of the stuff that you were doing. <laughs> Listen, I'm not the only one. Well, yeah, you are. <laughs> I meant on the whole internet. Maybe you're the only one in this game. You're the only one on the whole internet. Don't argue about it because it's true. Okay. I'm not <sighs> one of those around spreading lies. Playing on speed 2 with no monarch points <laughs> and no one to attack except for Spain is not sounds fun. Like a, sounds like a challenge. Apparently I have to rival France. The only other country available. Wow. Well, I'm impressed that that's an option for you. Well done. When, so I've created a template. When I click and it says like, hey, it's going to take this long to build, it's going to take eight years. Uh, you, you probably have one province only. Yeah, I do. I do have it set to one province. How do I change that? Click There's the up button. Little plusy thing next there. And if you hold shift and then click it, it'll automatically set the same number of provinces as you're trying to build units. So it'll be oh, one unit per. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see that one down there at the bottom. Yeah, it's not totally intuitive. Because yeah, you're like, ah, oh, this template. And then you're you're trying to build, and you're like, why did it just queue twenty things in one province? <laughs> This is not what I wanted at all. All right, listen, Oirites. I'm really not going to... I don't want to take that much from you. I could just break you. That's actually a really good idea. I keep on wanting to lower my maintenance down to zero, and then I remember that I'm colonizing, and it doesn't mm -hmm. work out so well. When they rebel. It's an interesting thing if you think about it. Like, only players have to oh, defend their colonies. So I gotta I... get this cat. Cat! Where are the rest of my cogs? That was darn cat. Wish we had started this this uh, campaign on this patch. Because I would have played differently with colonization. I wouldn't even have a colonial nation. They are proven to be not a good thing. 
more trouble than they're worth. Oh yeah, definitely. See, I, gotta, I gotta take those. And they're, they're actually that. winning their war, but I don't think it's gonna go well. The, the, the better they do, the more likely Spain is to get involved. And I'm just gonna say, like, re- can I just release them? <laughs> <laughs> Be like, free. There's, um... There's got to be an option to, like, sever ties with the colonial nation, isn't there? Release subject? Ah, whatever province you click on to build is the one that they rally to as well. That's right. All right. Should not have done that in the desert. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. That's all right. I'm going to support the independence of my own country. No, that doesn't work. Coming um, from the colonial overlord, that would seem like a little bit of a token piece of support, wouldn't it? Well, they should they should just get it, get the get my, you know, just hey, leave. I don't want you anymore. It's you're 18 years old, you get out of the house, you're on your own. <laughs> it's like that thing, you know, where they're they're trying to send the animal away in all those movies. And they're like throwing rocks at it. No go. <laughs> Missed the fact that I had a bunch of Bornean peasants. Fuck up my holdings. I gotta go and resolve that. I'm a little worried that I won't get there on time. Why even give me a mission that is like protect against Songhai? Your force limit is like 1.8 <laughs> times mine. <laughs> You want no. Get at least one Indian province. No. <sighs> Make John Purr like you. Who cares? Why are they ask why are they asking about Indian Because They are they are the rival of a country considered a threat to us. Probably you. Yeah, that, uh, they are my they are my rival. These missions are garbage. I'm not, I'm not a threat to you. I'm taking care of the Mamluks for you. I Oh, okay, don't do me any favors here, Mattis. <laughs> I you may you may forget I also had a, a half decent war against the Mamluks recently. That's true. Well, also fighting all of their vassals <laughs> and uh, hedges and, you won. and Mutapa. Well, maybe not Mutapa. You came out all. on top. Well, you came out on the in the positives, right? Right. I I technically lost against the Mamluks, but I I gained land. <laughs> Poor Mamluks. I really like the Mamluk start, but the Ottomans are a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. And if you got a strong Songhai and a decently strong Ethiopia, what are you going to do? I don't know. You got nowhere to go. Boom. I will send peace once more to here. This is the rule of the land. All right. Meanwhile, fucking rebels. Yeah, that's that's. Oh shit! Now the Ottomans are at war with not only Russia, Bohemia, and Hungary, but the Commonwealth, Moldavia, Wallachia, the Papal State as well. It's your time to strike, man. I know. I need to finish this war up. Peace offer from the Mamluks. No, thank you. (laughs) What are you gonna take in the first war here? Uh, I just wanna. I kind of wanna just take. I wanna take Shamar out of their hands. And then maybe a couple of provinces, and that's about it. I bet you can get all of that stuff um, in the like Gulf, the Persian Gulf. Yeah, probably. I would assume that I can just take this chunk away from them. All right. Yeah. It's I don't think true. they're going to win this war. I mean, I don't think they had a chance in the first place, but. All right, let, let's create a template for boats. The template is going to be called boats. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's going to be 10 light trade ships. Made in 10 different provinces. That's good. That's a solid start. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Now, please build boats <laughs> right there. Wait, how come they didn't? Oh, I'm really god damn it! Confused. The hell Hold just on. happened there? 
One second. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Because of our superior and unmatched leadership, we have assumed leadership in the leader the war Spain still in Brazil. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um offer tribute, give up colonial nation. I don't have any interest in this war. Like You're killing what? me here. Alright, let's just let's just play. I got some bad shit going down. Really? You do too? Well, no, just I can resolve this quickly, but there's for some reason some troops didn't move the way I expected them to, and they're not being pounced on by rebels that are no, oh, no rebels. Rebels, okay. But yeah, I got I got rebel problems. They weren't supposed to be real rebel problems, but because of stupidity on my part. Are these? Yeah. Apparently I have no infantry left anywhere. That's not helping. This is BS. Story of a girl. No. Cry the river and drown the whole world. There you go. Leave me hanging. Alright, thank god. Do rebels never run away? No, they must. Weird that I was able to stack wipe those guys. So I'm fighting early frigates, which I believe are what tech, tech fifteen. Yep, I'm fighting them with barks. Wow. Like Oof! Regular boats, little 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 barkies. You're winning though. I'm <laughs> Technically. <sighs> Come on, arrive. Merge. Um, split in half. Attach. Grab you guys. Come over here. All right. I'll take care of that in a second. So I didn't take very much land from the white rights. Just enough to connect everything. And not have it be stupid anymore. Now time to go save points again so I can westernize. All next week. Well, not next week, because we're going to be taking a break, but yep. yeah. whenever we start playing again, our next session is going to be all me waiting around for things to westernize. And I have a That's big true. nation. It's going to take a long time. I could actually westernize as well. Once I'm not overextended, anyway. Yeah. That's my barrier right now. Don't know if I will. Oh, this is so not smart. I can't believe how bad my vassal is. <laughs> they're just they're just so stupid. It sounds like they have chosen poorly about what to fight. I just I don't understand like what what why would the AI be that stupid? Why would they declare war on Castilian Brazil when they have they motherfucking have you, Spain as their overlord? <laughs> <laughs> like do they not know? That Spain has everything. This is an honor thing. It's, it's idiocy. Your vassals are Klingons. I'm like, no, we had to fight. We didn't have a choice. <sighs> God damn it. Don't be like that. Makes me mad. Understandable. Improve some more relations. You've been improved. Eh, not all the way. I should actually probably annex you. At the same time. I have turbo diplo rep now. I can annex all the <laughs> things simultaneously. That being said, like I'm trying to decide. Um, I should probably get myself down to like five of five diplomatic relations, or maybe I can get six of six if I can get the embassy rocking just to save some diplo points. But the bigger I am, the more expensive westernizing is, right? Yeah. So there's something to be said about not annexing everyone. Therefore, no, the bigger you are, it doesn't, not... doesn't cost more, it just takes longer. Yeah, oh, okay. Whatever your income is, divide that by 15. So like if you make 150 gold, then it'd be 10. And then... Westernization progress is like 10 per month reduced by your income divided by 15 with a I floor see. a floor of 5 per month. So, if you have over 75 monthly income, not net, but you know, before. Mhm. Mm 
then uh, you'll have westernization progress of five per month per monarch point. Yeah, I have 75.35. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. You can annex people and then westernize. You can have the same speed either. No oh, matter what now. That's the cap. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's nice to know. Thank you very much for that useful advice. Yeah. yeah. Well, Always count on you. I don't know what else to do, considering that my the rest of my campaign now is just getting my ass kicked by France. Oh, so, this is me fun. By France? Wait, by France? Or, or sorry, by Spain. Probably and France. Right, right. Probably both of them. Got excited there for a second. <laughs> well, how's Russia? Russia hates me a lot. Yeah, see? That could be a thing that happens to me. I could get Russian. <laughs> that would be unpleasant. You could get Russian. Mm-hmm. Get rushed. Well, in case you didn't hear it, the uh, the timer did go. It okay. did go. Give me ten in-game days. I will not not out of game days? No, that would be absurd. <laughs> That'd be far too long. And I mean then... you should just see like can you like press go to the diplomatic map mode and I click on my country. And just look at what I'm facing here. Like, yeah, I've got a big, a big country call, in Africa. Actually. Spain has more base tax in the Iberian Peninsula than in all of Africa. And then it's like, it's just everything. We're, I'm at war with every colony, every ship, and they're two tech levels ahead of me. This is... Yes. When you westernize, does it set your stability? No, it reduces it by three. Okay, so it no longer sets it to minus three. Right. That's good. All right, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. I'm ready. Yep. Yeah. So everybody I'm else sure. is good. Yep. Sweet. Yep. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, no matter who you're watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. See you then. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.